So in the previous video, we had just finished setting up our high score function. Now we're going to uh, use that Mrs. Uh, design screen here. So we're going to look at what happens when we uh, miss this. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to set up uh, when the canvas is touched. So we don't have that yet because we don't want it to occur, the miss to occur. Uh, when the sprite is touched, rather we want it to occur when the canvas is touched. So what we're going to do is just grab our uh, variable. So we're going to come up to here and we're going to say set misses to, because we're again doing this as an addition, we're not keeping track of them as a negative. We're going to, I can duplicate here and say get misses. And I can duplicate here. Now, if we were keeping track of total points and not taking misses away, we could subtract from total points here as our misses. Now, the other thing we're going to want to do is we're going to duplicate here. And we want to take our misses uh, text here. I'm going to change that. But you notice we only put one label out there. So I need to do a join here. And what I'm going to join is the misses colon with getting my uh, global misses. So what this is going to do, it eliminates having to have two labels. It'll join this misses with my label here. So it'll all be housed together. Uh, this is the way that I prefer to do my uh, labels themselves. Now, obviously, we have to do some uh, resetting now. So we need to, when we hit that reset button, I'm just going to duplicate here. We're going to set our global misses back to zero. And then we need to display this same thing here. Now, what you'll notice then is now as we come over to our emulator, which is not running, so give me one second to get my emulator back up. Now you can see that my emulator is back up and running. So as I click on my uh, sprite, you can see my point value goes up, my high score gets set here, uh, but my misses also go up. And the reason being is my character is also on the canvas. So every time I touch the canvas, I also uh, touch the, uh, the sprite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this block here, and I'm going to come up to my math block, and I'm going to grab a subtraction. So if I touch the image sprite, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract one from my global misses. So what this will do is if I touch the sprite, it will take away that fact that when I hit the sprite, I'm also hitting the canvas. So you'll see that my misses don't go up if I can. I'm going to reset it so I can get a little slower here. We can see that my misses don't actually go up unless I miss the uh, image sprite, as we can see here. And again, that high score here is uh, shown. Now, we're going to uh, come back. And take a look at the coding then. So we're setting our uh, high score to the global points if it's greater than the global points. We're uh, setting our misses text and resetting it to zero on the reset button. And when the canvas is touched, we are adding a point to the global misses and joining that label. And we've added then to subtract global misses uh, if we touch the sprite because we're also touching the canvas as well. And we're calling that high score. So in the next one, we're, what we'll look at is adding playability, meaning an end to this game. 